Okay. Okay. Mic check one, two, one, two. I am the Y2K collector and I am back coming at you with a midweek video here. <clears throat> and you'll have to pardon me. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold here. It's that time of year, so it's to be expected. But I wanted to do a little mini series called The Lost Pickups of 2022. And these are just some of the games that I never had a chance to go over uh, when doing some of my pickups videos uh, in games that I may have gotten while I was on a break from YouTube over the summer. So won't do too much jabbering or blabbering. We'll dive around right into this one because i do have a few cool ones gonna go ahead and start off with a system that i actually was able to snag and i'm gonna go ahead and, and show it here and it is a um, a top loader nes so uh, i don't know if this is the model 2 i don't know what the official name for this nes is called but i was able to snag this in a trade I had a few doubles on some Switch games and uh, decided to go ahead and make a trade for this guy because I had picked up some NES games at a uh, vintage store. So this is really cool. It was clean, glad to have it. And then it also comes with the cool little, uh, what's this, the dog bone controller for the NES. So this is a pretty cool pickup here. Uh, so glad to go ahead and have that one. Uh, another pickup here, uh, this was from the uh, thrift store that I tend to visit frequently and they sell these little bags of uh, DS games, sometimes for like 12 or 13 bucks. And I was there one day and happened to run into these two guys. Let me get these in focus. All right, so happened to run into these two. This is uh, Pokemon Diamond and zelda phantom hourglass so two cool little ds games here don't have the cases but these are definitely cool ones to have and uh pick those up at the thrift store was glad to have those um there was also a copy of pokemon mystery dungeon uh got that one as well uh then uh made an online pickup here for this guy and yes that is wario land 3 for the game boy color uh, I have Wario Land 1. I'm missing Wario Land 2. I think that's the only one that I need to get. But was glad to go ahead and find this uh, online at a decent price. I think this was about 12 bucks, so not bad on this one on the Game Boy Color. And then made a trade for this one here. This is uh, Shaman King 2. So I had Shaman King, the first one, um, back in the day when the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Micro first came out, and I beat Shaman King 1. Really liked that game, so went ahead and got Shaman King 2. Didn't even know they had a second part until later on, so this was a really cool one to have there. Uh, I, I kind of skipped this, but I'm gonna come back to it here. And with that NES, by the way, also came with this little zapper gun. I think this is the gun that you get for Duck Hunt. So um, I don't have a CRT TV that I think will work with this gun. So I have to get one, but was was cool. This is cool to have um, nostalgic, if nothing else. So was really glad to uh, add that one there. And then uh, I have parts one and two of this series on the PlayStation 2 and was glad when I was able to add uh, part three. So this is uh, Way of the Samurai 3 on the PlayStation 3. This is available on the Xbox 360. Um, and I think it's actually a lot cheaper than the PlayStation 3 uh, version. This one is made by Age Tech. The one on the 360 I think is published by UFO. Not sure how that translates in, you know, gameplay and, you know, how it looks, but I, I went with the PS3 on this one. So we have the Samurai 3 complete in box in great condition, I think. This, let's open it up. Let's pop it open. Yeah, great condition. You got the manual in there, pretty clean, and uh, the disc. So glad to have that one in there. Uh, and then last but not least, this one is a sleeper. This one, I, I was glad I was able to find it. Uh, this one I got online after making a few online sales. This was one I wanted to add to the collection, and it's hard to find. Uh, this game with a with a good label on it, but was able to find a copy of SWAT Cats 
for the SNES and this game is very underwhelming. Um, the label looks awesome, SWAT Cats the cartoon show was amazing, um, lots of fun, you know, this is from the days of all those like animal, you know, superhero cartoon shows from Battletoads to Earthworm Jim, SWAT Cats, Cowboys, and Moon Mesa, Ninja Turtles, Street Sharks, I mean, there were so many animal shows, it just can't even name them all, right? But this one was uh, adapted to the S uh, SNES, and it's a, it's a solid game. It's a decent game. It's just not, it's just rare, I think, and uh, that's why it's so uh, expensive. But it is a cool game. It looks nice. Graphics are great, but I wouldn't, this is not, you know, if you think about high dollar SNES games, um, this, I, I don't know, I guess it's rarity is what makes it expensive. But I can think of a lot of other cheaper SNES games that are more fun than this game. So, but that really does it. That does it um, for me here tonight. Uh, just wanted to come at you with this quick video here. Let you know some of these games I got. I am a little uh, under the weather, but wanted to kind of come out with the first volume of the Lost Pickups. I think I'm going to do a couple more of these because I'm sure if I look around I can find some games that I wasn't able to showcase but let me know if there are any games that you picked up that you forgot about maybe you threw them in a stack threw them somewhere behind the bed and uh, don't know that they're there <laughs> I am the Y2K collector thanks for stopping by and checking out this midweek video you take it easy